Hello, welcome back. You mentioned in the last lesson that we're gonna be talking about Traceroute, what is that? Well, I just wanted to finally get the entire picture of the internet across and I think this is the best way to do it. Now, if you're on a Mac, uh, you're gonna press Command Space and look for a program that comes with your Mac called Terminal and you're gonna press enter and you're gonna get this. So it's an application that all Macs have. If you're on a Windows machine, it's called Command Prompt and in the exercise right after this lesson, I will show you instructions on how to access that as well. We're going to talk about trace route. And if you remember, we spoke about this image of all these connected things happening and going to the internet backbone and then Google.com finally sends us the files back to our house and you can actually monitor how that's gonna work using Traceroute. So if we type in Traceroute and on Windows machine, it's actually Trace RT. But for now, we'll just go Traceroute and you can request for whatever website you want. So let's go with google.com. I press enter and yep, look at that. It gave me a whole bunch of hops that it did. So you can see one through nine here. So it did nine hops, so that means nine stops to this address at 172.217.1.14. So again, that looks like the IP address. So again, let's always test our experiments here. If I put that in and press enter, we should get google.com, let's see. Look at that, google.com. So that's a fun little way of you to see um, where your requests go and you can monitor, you can see all these IP addresses are different computers that are trying to locate the Google service. So go ahead in the next section, there's a little exercise. You can play around with this and just see where all your requests go all over the world. I think it's very, very cool. We're gonna finish up in the next section with some fundamentals and what we can do with this knowledge that we have to actually become really good web developers. So see you in the next section. Bye-bye.